Yeah, let's go ahead. Think you can be a real good defense? Uh, you know, looking at the first half, I was, we were pretty active. Uh, you know, I don't know if we can defend the block because they can throw it inside very often. Uh, and and you got to be able to finish your possessions and be a good rebounding team, which I, remains to be seen. But I think I think there's some things that that are that's good about our our uh, our guys that that could uh, could eventually be a very good defensive team. Yeah, a lot of guys. Uh, in the passing lane, yeah, yeah, not not as many as we should, but but uh, I didn't think we did anything the second half to do that. But the first half we created some havoc, and they're hard to pressure because they run five man motion, and and they they always have a pressure release. One of their big guys is always a pressure release, so that's a hard team to try to steal against. But I, I did think that you know we did a decent job in the first half of creating some havoc. Coach Shipman thought that he saw more, I guess, offensive efforts the word he used, but a little like tougher press. Do you see that, that they can show you a little more effort, even if it's not complete and what you want them to do, that they have a want to about? Yeah, I think, I think the first half especially we did. You know, second half was such a fragmented game. Uh, I think we were in the double bonus with 16 left, and they were in the double bonus with probably 10 left. So I, I, I know in the with, with the 12 minutes left, when they had under 12 timeout, both teams had already committed 18 fouls in the second half, so uh, uh, so it was fragmented the second half. But but I I, uh, I I thought that we played pretty tough the first half. But our big guys didn't rebound. You know, Perry gets one rebound in 20 minutes, and, and uh, Frank was our leading defensive rebounder in the first half. That, that those those aren't good things. Those are things we got to get better at. Coach, at one time you had five guys over six foot five on the floor. How does that change the total offense? When yeah, well, it wasn't very good when we did it. Uh, uh, of course, we played Wayne at the point on a couple of different times. And, and of course, when we play him at the point, we're going to be 6'5", will be the smallest guy we have. But, you know, Wayne, Wayne's not really used to doing that a lot. And up until this past week, we didn't really anticipate a, a lot of situations where we, we do it a ton. But I probably anticipated more situations where we play him at the four than we would at the one. Uh, but now I see a lot of situations we'll have to play them at the one, at least for spot duty. So we need to get better at that. What yeah. factors play into your decision for tonight's starting lineup? Excuse me? Uh, what factors play into your decision for tonight's starting No, there was no factors. Uh, I was going to start uh, all returning guys, and then uh, uh, Brandon, Brandon was going to start. He didn't do anything bad, so was, this is not a big deal. But I wanted him to play a little bit better defense yesterday. And, we really didn't probably get that done, so so I started Devontae, but uh, but I don't know how we'll go moving forward. I I think Brandon and and Speed Brandon's had a good last week, really good, and I think I think Speed obviously is going to be a really good player when he figures it out. <clears throat> you know Kelly's uh, uh you know got to figure some things out, but he's got a lot of talent. But uh, right now I'd probably feel most comfortable with uh, Devonte and and, uh, and Frank and Wayne and. And, and maybe even Brandon from, from a standpoint of knowing what we're trying to do. Uh, those other those newcomers got to pick some stuff up and, and kind of understand what we're trying to do. But, you know, they did fine tonight. What did you think of Cliff's line for his first game? Well, Cliff had a good line. Yeah, he had a good line. And, you know, but the whole thing is we got a huge size advantage and we shoot, you know, 15 out of 33 shots the first half, I think, were threes. So that, that, was, that was not very smart at all. And, and we, we just clipped off shots. And, we got to learn to play to our picks more. Is Brandon okay? He got a concussion, so uh, you know, with with the, you know, it's, I don't want to say he's okay or not okay, but because I, I think you know we'll definitely you know take the very cautious approach of when he can come back, and I don't know when that will be yet. So I certainly don't anticipate him being back in the next couple of days, but I don't know what what that means moving forward. Hey, Bill, Coach Shipman talked about you talking to their team yesterday, what kind of was the message, and, you know, when somebody does that and goes to three different Big 12 towns in six days, I guess, you know, what kind of, how much does that help prepare a D2 team? Well, I, I think that, you know, obviously their schedule's hard. Yeah. And and, and uh, I didn't know, did Wiggins get hurt? He tweaked his ankle, is that right? Yeah, so he's going to be okay. Yeah, but, but he didn't play him, I don't think, after he tweaked his second half. But, uh, uh, you know that they play 
they play the best exhibition schedule in the country, you know. Uh, their RPI screens the schedule would definitely be number one uh, of all Division II teams in the country. But, uh, you know, all, all, all I did was just talk about, you know, uh, you know, playing together and liking each other and, and, and you know, the little things it takes to win. And, and uh, if you really want to win, there's some sacrifices that have to be made. But I think the, the message was certainly one that I think Chip's already told them many times. Bill, with, with guys like Spee and Kelly, what are the little things that they're still figuring out? That like how to play. I mean, how to play, uh, uh, how to make easy plays, how to get the, you know, one thing about it, uh, guys a lot of times want to have the ball in their hands, and we just assume for them not to have the ball in their hands. So uh, guys hang on to it too long. They're looking to make a, uh, 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 you know, a, a scoring play pass rather than just get the ball moving, the ball sticking a little bit. Uh, uh, you know, Kelly could be a great defender and a great rebounder, and uh, you know, Speed could be a great ball mover and, and obviously a, a really, really, really good shooter. Things like that. And I just don't think that we play to our strengths near as much as we should. Coach, it was a tough night from free throw line. Was that just first game nerves or something that needs to? Keep yeah, I, I'm going to attribute to a lack of practice and, and, and first game nerves for sure. Yeah, we were awful. The line. You know, we could score quite a few points if we made our free throws, but uh, you know that that's that's on me. I mean, we, we got to spend more time and work on it and, and and drill it. You know, when you got so much to get in and stuff, a lot of times that's one of the things that you probably uh, sacrifice a little bit. But guys got to get in the gym on their own and, and work on some things. But because uh, we 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 may not have a great free throw shooting team, I, I don't know, but certainly we have. The potential to have some really, really, really good free throw shooters, and uh, uh, you know, obviously, we're, we're not going to be a team that I, I think shoots 50 percent that often. Bill, I know it's uh, against smaller competition, but with Cliff's rebounding ability, is that something that's that is there, or something that's already there? Okay. As far as for him, yeah, yeah, he, but but yeah, he he's, he goes he goes after the ball pretty good, and you know what, he's becoming a better outlet passer and doing some good things that way uh, 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 and I'm getting the confidence in him to have him in there because he tries so hard uh, but you know if I was going to say our two best rebounders without question big guys are landing the cliff and that doesn't bode well for Mari and Perry you know they got to get where they're 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 as good of rebounders as those guys but when the ball's in the glass as a defensive rebounder I, I think I probably have as much confidence with those two guys going after it as any of them now on the other end Jamari's by far our best offensive rebounder but uh, I, I really want those those two guys to to attack the ball a lot better. We we I, I thought we played kind of soft tonight in that area. Were you pleased with the effort of the freshman tonight? Effort? Yeah, I was pleased with everybody's effort. Didn't play great, but I was certainly pleased with everybody's effort. You know, we they scored 13 points the first half, and that's pretty good. You know, and, and uh, uh, you know, and, and they're a hard team to pressure because of their motion. I, I, I thought that they did. I thought we looked pretty good defensively at times in the first half too. Second half I did, but first half I did. Were you surprised Cliff only ended with one foul? You said you were a little concerned about him staying out of foul Well, there. one thing, you know, Chip didn't throw it inside very much tonight. So, um, yeah, that I am surprised at that. I was shocked in the first half. Did they get to the bonus in the first half? Uh, I don't know that they got to the bonus the first half. And so that, that, was, that was a pleasant surprise to me uh, that they didn't do that. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks, sir.